Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States is obviously going further and further down the road of banning chips, and it will not hesitate to do so even if it harms the interests of American chip companies, or even undermines the globalization of chips. Just recently, news came out from the US media that the United States has cancelled the shipment licenses of Qualcomm and Intel to Huawei. This basically means that the US chip giants will be completely unable to ship chips to Huawei. Chip shipments in the Chinese market will also be further restricted. However, what the United States did not expect was that not long after this news came out, good news came out from China Chip. According to a report from Global Network, China has made breakthrough progress in the field of high-performance photonic chips and successfully developed a new type of optical silicon chip that can be manufactured in batches. In recent years, there has been a lot of news about technological breakthroughs in photonic chips, quantum chips, and other new material chips. In these fields, China and the United States have performed very well. China has also been hoping to change lanes and overtake the chip track in fields such as quantum chips and photonic chips. Currently, China is the only country in the world with leading technology in the fields of quantum superconducting and optical quantum superconducting. However, one thing worth paying attention to is that emerging chip fields such as quantum chips and photonic chips are actually in their infancy. In fact, many technologies are not perfect and mature enough, and they lack the support of relevant industrial chains. This also leads to the fact that technological breakthroughs in most cases are actually limited to laboratories. How to complete the mass production of photonic chips and quantum chips has also become a very critical link. From the breakthrough news reported in various previous reports, it is not difficult to see that quantum chips and photonic chips have better performance than today's traditional silicon-based electronic chips. Some photonic chips and quantum chips have even reached the computing power performance of today. Silicon-based electronic chips are hundreds, or even thousands of times larger. However, there has been no relevant mass production information. From this point, it is not difficult to see that for photonic chips and quantum chips, the most critical issue now is actually mass production. Judging from the news this time, China has basically solved this problem initially. The breakthrough progress completed this time focuses on the aspect of mass manufacturing. It is obvious to all that the United States has imposed export controls on chips in recent years. Its fundamental purpose is not to restrict the shipments of semiconductor manufacturers. After all, judging from public data, about half of the global chip semiconductor production capacity comes from the United States, and Maishin actually obtains nearly half of the revenue in the chip semiconductor field. Naturally, the United States will not deliberately prevent Maishin companies from making profits. Its fundamental purpose is actually to limit the development of Chinese chips, or to maintain the advantages that Maishin companies have in today's chip industry chain. It is precisely for this reason that the United States has actually been expanding its export controls on chips and semiconductor equipment in recent years. Previously, U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo said that he would take the strongest actions to protect national security and decided not to allow NVIDIA to ship the most advanced AI chips. 
The United States continues to expand the scope of restrictions on chip export controls, from the earliest logic chips and memory chips to AI chips, mobile phone SOC chips, baseband chips, etc. It also restricts the shipment of semiconductor equipment, such as photolithography machines. But does the US chip ban really have any effect? The answer is of course no. Even because of the US chip ban restricting the shipment of advanced chips, Chinese companies have gradually realized that if they do not master the core technology, it will be difficult to avoid being stuck. More and more Chinese companies have begun to enter the chip industry. In the field, just recently, the scientific research team of the Shanghai Institute of Microsystems and Information Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, completed a technological breakthrough in the field of lithium tantalate heterogeneous integrated wafers and high-performance photonic chips. Chips made of this material have lower optical losses and high electro-optical conversion efficiency. The most important thing is that many of these technologies have a very strong impact on the entire photonic chip field, and it can even be said that they may provide answers to many aspects that are now considered bottlenecks. In fact, as mentioned above, the key point of this technology is that it can be mass-produced, which has a significant impact on the entire photonic chip field. Many of these technologies can actually be used for reference in other photonic chip fields. It can be said that in addition to the significance of this photonic chip itself, it also plays a role in promoting the development of the entire industry chain. This technological breakthrough is actually just a microcosm of China's overall breakthrough in chip technology. Behind this technological breakthrough in photonic chips, there are actually China's production capacity and technological development in the field of traditional silicon-based electronic chips, as well as in photonic chips, quantum chips, and new types of chips. The technical level in many fields, such as material chips, has improved rapidly. There is no doubt that China is now walking on two legs to complete the domestic replacement of chips and semiconductors. On the one hand, it accelerates the development of traditional silicon-based chips, and on the other hand, it accelerates breakthroughs in the emerging chip field. It is foreseeable that with the development of technology, it is becoming more and more difficult for silicon-based chips to break through. It is not impossible for new chips to gradually make traditional silicon-based electronic chips become mainstream chips. What's more, the outstanding performance and computing power of photonic chips and quantum chips have also promoted the development of many emerging industrial chains, such as artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. The United States can impose restrictions in the field of traditional silicon-based chips, but what about these emerging fields? If you agree, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.